a little bit of an impromptu live stream here but I, honestly my live streams are always impromptu um but this is a nice little best ball underdog draft i gotta be honest i don't even know how many people are going to be in here because this was so last minute but just the way that my schedule worked out had to call an audible had to hop on stream today but very excited to get a best ball mania 2 draft in um of course showing the banner we're hopping into a or no best ball mania 3 i don't know why i keep saying that um but i did just drop or not drop but tomorrow we have a best ball mania 3 strategy video coming out so that's going to be really dope but i'm gonna be doing a little bit of freestyling here as i wait for people to come in the chat uh i think this is going to be one of the rare times where i put the link to this video in the discord so by the way if you're hearing this you're not in the discord the discord is free to join it is down below in the description how are we doing everybody oh i don't even need to put this in the discord dude you guys are crazy it's genuinely baffling to me like how crazy how crazy the support has been from you guys like we i just put this up and we're already at 13 viewers i know 13 is not anything crazy but for like an impromptu live stream where i don't warn anybody and you guys just get like whether notifications or uh something among those lines all right so let me let me pull up the live stream real quick let me put something in the chat how is everybody doing how are we doing oh oh back in the basement of course uh how are we doing anthony how are we? If, if you're in here, say what's up. Say what's good. Hey there. How are we going? How are we doing, Ashton? Let me make these a little bit bigger. That uh, might be a little bit too big. I don't know, man. What do we got? Yo, yo, yo. How are we doing? How are we doing? Love your content. The data analysis is always on point. Appreciate you, brother. Hey, Ron. Any way you could answer a quick question for me? Yeah, sure, brother. Uh, What's good tonight? We're hopping into a trap. We're hopping into a draft, brother. You said I'm the man. I appreciate that, man. Um, All right. You said trade advice. Yeah, I'll, I'll start taking questions and do a little bit of a Q&A once I get into this draft. But yeah, 100% we'll do a little Q&A. We're just going to hang out and, and rip a draft real quick. That's that's all this is. All right. Let me. Let me. Uh, What do I need to do? What do I need to do? All right. So let me put let me put this in the chat. Uh, If you guys want to hop on into this underdog best ball draft with me. Here is a link to use my promo code. And then from there, you're going to hop into a Best Ball Mania 3 draft with me. So let me sign into Underdog. Again, how are we doing? If you're in here, say what's up. We got Derek in here. Okay. I know Derek's going to hop into this. What's up, brother? Hope all is well. Hope all is well with you too, Juan. I recognize that uh, profile picture. I feel like you, you've been with us since the redraft season, Juan. What's up, Ron? How are we doing? How are we doing? All right. And I got to be honest, I kind of have this new fire to want to hop into these Underdog Best Ball drafts. I uh, I recorded a video two days ago that I'm really excited for. I don't think it's going to bang off the bat, but I think it's going to be like evergreen content for you guys to consume, or not even you guys, but just like people who are new to Underdog, where I pretty much break down what Underdog is, kind of like my Underdog 101 video last year, but that's like maybe the first like 10 minutes where I kind of go over the basics of best ball, and then I go over like strategy and roster construction for the big tournaments. Um, and I did a lot of research, a lot of stuff that honestly is kind of changing how I view things in terms of strategy. And I feel like I'm a lot more locked in in terms of uh, structure, stacking, all of that stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, all right. So we're going to hop into one of these. Let me just get underdog going and then I'll get the screen up in a second. All right. Let me, we'll go here. That should work. I'll put myself up here. I don't think that this is going to be a, like a, as zoomed as I want it to be, but I think that this is probably fine. All right, so we're going to hop into a Best Ball Mania 3 draft. Again, if you want to use my promo code, use promo code RON. It's on the banner. I'm going to take the banner off once we get into the draft, but the banner, use promo code RON. The link is pinned in the chat, or at least I hope I pinned it. Um, and it'll take you there. You use promo code RON, and you can deposit $10 to $100, and they will match your deposit up to $100. So you deposit $50, they will match $50, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to click Enter. That's not going to get me in there. But once I click Yes, it's going to send me in there. So anybody that wants to hop in as well, I'm going to count down from 5. All right, five, four, three, two, one, boom. If you're in here, let me know. Let me know uh, if you're one of these guys. We actually have a lot of open open spots here. So seems like I might even tweet out a link. How many spots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oof, oof, oof. Need seven more spots. What should I tweet out? Okay, only need five. If you guys, if you guys want a piece, you have the liberty to 
Um, let's see, let's see. Should I put something in Discord? Uh, sure, I'll put something in the Discord. Uh, at underdog. Need four more. Let me also, uh, let me take, take us off this real quick so I can, I'm gonna tweet out a link real quick. Uh, only three more people though. We should fill that, uh, but why not? So let me just tweet out, let me tweet out a YouTube link. Why not? So we need three more. But yeah, man, this is a little bit of a little bit of uh oh, and it already filled. So let me let me delete that tweet real quick before anybody joins in and is like gets into the the wrong spot, if you know what I mean. All right, so we're in here. Oh, and we got the four spot. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, dude. Is no soup for you in in the chat? Does no soup for you watch my videos? Because I see him all the time. He might literally just be a degenerate. I think that's most likely the case. Um. Also, if you got in here, I know Debo already, his name, but outside of that, I don't recognize anybody. Let me see. Do I recognize anybody? No, I don't think so. Yeah, so if you're if you're in here, let me know. Let me know. Let me... All right, so everything's moved out of the way. All right, so everything should be good. All right, let's change to draft board mode. Do you want me to pop out the draft board or leave it like this? I imagine you guys want me to pop out the draft board. All right, so let me move this down. Let's pop out the draft board. I'll make picks on my phone and we should be good. Let me put myself down here. All right. My bad, I I'm gonna get to the chat in a second. Feel free to ask questions. I'm not to just hang out, answer dynasty questions, redraft questions, just sort of hang out, little Friday night vibes, get a draft going, hang out with the fellas. Um, all right, so let me pull it up on my phone so I can make picks. Uh, I probably need to grab my phone charger, but I'll do that on the way back. So Debo goes cup. McCaffrey goes. So now I'm staring down uh, Jefferson or Chase. I'll go Jefferson. I've kind of just been trying to uh, diversify between Jefferson and Chase because they are... Like, I already have a ton of cup, JT, and McCaffrey for whatever reason. Especially in BBM, so I'm trying to get some diversity there. But every time, every time I take, pick a player, it's actually bad. I just go down the list of, of Vikings, Packers, get that game 17 stack already queued up uh, to mess around with. But yeah, as I said, I, I made a nice underdog video uh, that should be coming out maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. But I looked at some stuff that's really going to be great in terms of construction, stacking. So I'm sort of excited to get back into drafts here and sort of apply uh, the research that I found. What do we got here? What do we got? He said, what do you think of Waddle and Redraft this year? I don't mind Waddle. Waddle is a tough bet for me because I, I don't I don't like really betting on Tua. Um, but I do take him where he goes just because he usually goes in like this 3-4 uh, this turn area. Which, to be honest with you guys, the wide receivers in that range are, are pretty disgusting already. Where I'm looking at him now. You're looking at, with Waddle, you're looking at like Mike Williams, Pittman... Waddle, Marquise Brown, DJ Moore, Cortland Sutton, Deontay Johnson, Judy. Like it's a, it's a, it's an ugly area. Where last year that three four turn was money. Where you had like Cup, you had Woods, you had Lockett, DJ Moore, who was I think a sexier bet back then. Um, I'm trying to think who else is kind of in that range. Godwin, Evans, T Higgins was kind of in there. Ayuk was kind of in there. Jamar Chase was sort of in there, but not not at three four turn. He was more, he was more like five six four five. But you guys get what I'm saying. What else we got in here? Brandon, you said, in a 14-team full PPR redraft, would you rather have picks 4 and 5 overall and draft Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase or have picks 7, 15, and 22 overall and take best player available? What a crazy question. 7, 15, and 22, or 4 and 5? I think I'd probably rather have 4 and 5, but I'd have to, like, really think about it. I'd have to sort of see the board a little bit more. Hmm, so Aaron Jones is gone. You said you're in as DR, DRM22. All right, dope. I love that. 
So DRM 22. Oh, so you, me, and Debo are all squished together here. What's going on, Ben? You're set. You said you're in too. Man, we got a lot of people in here. KPA Ben. Wow, we're all sand. All, f all three of us are within like, uh, very close picks of each other. This is gonna be very easily Mark Andrews for me. Mark Andrews at the 209 is pretty wild. He usually his ADP is 16.9. So I mean, a four pick slide isn't a lot, but a four pick slide, uh, this early in the draft is actually pretty good value. But yeah, again, just starring starring the matchup in week 17. I'm a, I'm I'm a degenerate. It's also a really dangerous game I play where if I get autoed, I'm screwed. All right. Cuz my Q's all fucked up. No soup is a fan? Dude, who is no dude, whoever no soup for you is, I would like to shake your hand. That video of the guy in the plane, I would like to shake your hand. I've seen you in so many draft lobbies, dude, me and you. We spent some quality time together, no soup. I don't know who you are. It's also a great name. I love Seinfeld. How do I join your underdog drafts? Haven't made one yet. Pretty much, you just got to get here when I start one. Get the notifications on. I never, like, say, like, get keep the notification bell on or whatever. But you keep the notifications on. I go live. You hop in. And then, boom. I just sort of have people join when I join a BBM3 draft. What do we got? Again, fellas, if you guys, if you guys just, um... Uh, what am I trying to say? If you guys... I'm down for like a QA. and a So if you guys have any fantasy questions or questions in general, just let me know. Or you want to say I got a clean ass cut today, boy? Sheesh. I will say. I don't know. I'm sort of questioning if you fucked up the fade a little bit. It does look a little bit uneven, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm an idiot. Oh, boy. Come on. What is, what is it going to be? What is it going to be, brother? What is it going to be? KPA Ben. Damn. That sucked. I wanted AJ Brown bad, man. Let's go Javante. Javante's a fun bet there. Javante's fun. I actually was doing a... I'm going to have a running back video, a running back rankings video coming out very soon. Javante's a tough rank, man, because I, I want to be very high on him. But with Melvin Gordon back, it is it is a little bit tough to start justifying him over guys. Like, I I mean, I still ended up putting him over uh, Fournette and James Conner and Nick Chubb. I think people won't like that, though. What else we got? What else we got? I traded Devonta Smith and Kenneth Walker in a third for Lamb and James Cook. Considering what Lamb trades at... On the market, I don't think that's terrible. I personally wouldn't pay that. I'm just not huge on Lamb, but I don't think that that's terrible. Just realize you're in this one as well. What's your What's your name? Akash, you said help. I've been Twitter jailed. Akash, what do you mean, brother? How are you Twitter jailed? Is your Twitter just like inactive? I tweeted at you early, dude. I had uh, earlier. I had a sick tweet, dude. I had a sick tweet, but Twitter just doesn't like uh, expected points, dude. Got nothing. Five likes. Didn't do numbies. But it's fine. It's the thought that counts. And Adam Harstad retweeted it. So that's all I need in my heart. That does suck, though, Akash. I, I was wondering because I feel like if I tagged you, you would respond pretty fast. Knowing you. But what else we got? 12-team Superflex PPR, two-man keeper. Pick two. You don't have to... Uh, there's no cost there. Like, you're not uh, giving up anything, really. I'd almost be tempted to go Taylor and Kelsey and just hammer wide receivers the rest of the way. Just lock in your hero RB, lock in your elite tight end, and then boom, just hammer wide receivers pretty much the rest of the way. Maybe grab an elite quarterback along the way. That's kind of where I'm at. You said check my Twitter? Gosh, dude. Are they suspending you? Like, what happened? Wow, caution, this, talent, this account is a temporarily restricted? Did, have you gotten any like like an email explaining why? That's crazy. Someone report you. That would also be pretty crazy. All right, so we took a running back around three. This is a fun. This is a fun way here where I can kind of uh, I can kind of build out a hero RB team from here. But I also have the flexibility to I have the flexibility to do a couple things here. Wow, Etn's already long gone. Wow, Etn at thirty eight. Huh. No soup for you. What is it going to be, bud? 
Judy? God damn, bro. Of course. Of course it's Judy. Is this where I build the Hero RB squad? Or is this where I build a hyper fragile team? Let's go McLaurin. I don't love it, but let's go McLaurin. I think McLaurin's a fine bet this year. We know he's good. Wentz is probably a quarterback upgrade. I actually I don't mind Metcalf there either, but I take I take so much Metcalf that it's bad. Wow, that's a high that's a high spot for Gabe Davis to go. Or actually not really. I took him at forty six the other day. I imagine or no. I was gonna say this guy maybe took uh Jamar Chase, but I'm saying there's no shot. So that's just a guy that's just a guy that loves Gabe Davis there. I was going to respond in like one second about how you're wrong, but then it wouldn't work. And that's how I found it. I was jailed. I think I'll be fine, but no Twitter for a bit. I reset my password and just got her wait, I guess. I think my account was suspected, but I don't know why though. Damn. You were going to say I was wrong, Akash? Dude. I thought that was a banger tweet, man. <laughs> what else we got in here? What else we got in here? Did you see the Discord trade where somebody got Deshaun for a second? Dude, people are insane, bro. People are out of their damn minds. Damn, dude. Metcalf is a great value here. Ben, take him off my hands, dude. Take Metcalf away from me, dude. I would love to take Brees Hall here. I would love to. And you're going to take Akers. <sighs> Am I really going to be forced to build yet another... Hero RB team like this? I guess so. A little modified Hero RB. Where you take your Hero RB in the third round. I'm cool with it. I'm fine with it. But. I, I pretty much. I did some research on Hyper Fragile. And it sucked last year. But there's a way to go about doing it. Where. If you can maneuver the correct way. You can actually get. Pretty nice upside. Where pretty much you, you really. You want to have 10 wide receivers. You want to make sure you have an elite tight end. You get two quarterbacks in the window. You don't draft too many running backs in the uh, like RB dead zone. And you kind of just do your thing. And if you do draft them in the RB dead zone, they look like Brees Hall. They look like Cam Akers. They look like uh, ETN, Dobbins. They don't look like Ezekiel Elliott or those type of guys. All right, so Metcalf. You look at Seahawks. Let me look at the Jets. What else we got? Ron, what's good? You love DK? Dude, I love DK almost to a fault. Like, I, I just have too much DK at this point, but I still... I took him. I, 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 I can't... There's nothing I can do when he gets to pick 52. If you're going to give me DK Metcalf in the fifth round, I have no choice, bro. I have no choice. Wow, no soup for you is kind of crazy going uh, Brandon Cooks there, but I guess... Wow, that's actually... He reached on Saquon, too. Unless if Saquon's... Uh, ADP went up. I doubt it, though. Oh, it's AD. Damn, Saquon's ADP is rising. Damn. What do we got? What do we got? So does AJ Brown? I'm putting the mic over here. Let me let me know if the mic, if I if I screw it up. Like if you can't hear me or whatever, just let me know. I don't know. I'm all over the place right now. What do we got? What do we got? You said is AJ Brown? We got 54 people in here. Duh. You guys are crazy, bro. 54, dude? What else we got? He says, A.J. Brown and Jalen Hurts, a top-tier stack compared to other stacks like Mahomes and Kelsey, Burrow and Chase, or Lamar and Andrews. It's hard to really talk. It's hard to really put into words like the quality of a stack, you know? But, I mean, it's Jalen Hurts and his number one target. I think it's a fine stack. Um, it is just a little bit difficult because uh, Jalen Hurts is a Russian quarterback. So, there is the... Uh, there is the the outcome where the offense is kind of hamstrung by um, by Hertz, and that he isn't the NFL quarterback we think that he's going to be. What what else can I do here? Man, I genuinely don't have a lean on Amon Ross, St. Brown, Drake London, or Devonta Smith. They're all very close for me. I have a lot of Drake London already. Let's go Amon Ra. I'll go Amon Ra because why not? 
I also I also kind of sneaky love that Detroit uh, Chicago game to shoot out. I do hate that I missed. I hate that I missed on uh, on Lamar though. I would have loved to get Lamar next to uh, Mark Andrews. That would have been fun. But this is a this is just a very classic Ron Stewart hero RB team right here. This is the bread and butter, if you will. What else we got? But yeah, I, I think I think it's a fine stack. But I wouldn't. I, I'd say probably lesser than all of those stacks, just considering that I think both of them have lower ADPs than the rest of them as well. What up, Ron? What up, Michael? How are we doing? I was hoping you wouldn't take Brees Hall at fifty-two. Do you end up taking Brees Hall? Oh yeah, your DRM. Okay, respect, respect. What's up, man? What's your thoughts on Gibson this year? Thanks, man. Be blessed. Be, I appreciate that, brother. Um, what are my thoughts? Hmm. What are my thoughts on Gibson this year? Gibson's a really tough evaluation, man, because I've been sort of thinking through these a little bit because I've been I've been messing around with my running back rankings recently, and it's tough with Gibson because he has the profile we want, where he's this like size speed specimen. He can catch passes, and you can also talk yourself into McKissick isn't a lot of uh competition neither is brian robinson so if he is as good as we think he could probably pretty easily push those guys to the side as we're up here I guess Russ it is. Even though Russ doesn't really... He doesn't really correlate amazingly to Javante, but I think it's fine. I think that's fine. That wasn't a fun pick, I'll admit. I, I didn't... Uh, I, I was debating going uh, Ayuk. I was debating going CEH. I didn't love that, though. Yeah, I, 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 don't, love, I don't love taking CEH in the seventh, man. It's not, an, it's not an awful idea. And it is an interesting move with... Um, with him being on the other side of Javante Williams, right, in that Denver KC game, but I passed on it for now. But what's my thoughts on Gibson? Yeah, so again, uh, super, like, amazing speed, has, like, what, two back-to-back, -back, like, almost RB1 finishes. He has the upside. My thing is, is that we didn't see it in year two when everything was ramping up for it to happen. I'm not sure we ever see it. Like, Ron Rivera just doesn't seem like he wants to give Antonio Gibson the uh, the McCaffrey role, and it doesn't seem like, uh, it especially doesn't seem like that when he, like, persuades McKissick from coming back from the uh, the Bills when he signed there. And then he also uh, drafted in the third round. Dude, this was a team with, like, no draft picks. And they spent, a, they spent draft capital on a running back, even though they already had Gibson. Like, I don't know what it is about Gibson, but they just don't want to make him that guy. So that's the issue for me. Um, but he is, like, an injury away from being very good. Like, we saw, we've seen stints now where if McKissick gets hurt or if anybody in that backfield gets hurt, he picks up that role and he's really good. Uh, so that's really the issue with him. But I think at, at his price, he's not a terrible swing. I will say about that trade, my other running backs are Akers, Brees Hall, and Etienne. So I think I could have afforded to get Lamb at that price. That's fair. That's fair. I think it's a little bit of a fallacy just because, like, it's tough to say that like my team's so stacked that I can afford to like overpay. Like in a vacuum, you would hope not to overpay ever. Um, but yeah, man, if if you believe in if if CD's like your wide receiver three and and you believe in that very firmly, like I don't hate the move. No soup for you. What do you got, buddy? What do you got? Man, no soup for you. This team is actually really sexy. And he goes, Ken walk over Elijah Mitchell. I'll take Elijah Mitchell at this price all day long. Elijah Mitchell, look, man. I've been loving the bit that Overzet's been doing where he's like, he calls himself a value hound. I'm a value hound too, dude. Give me anybody like 12 packs piss. I can't talk, dude. I said I said piss instead of picks. Um, but give me anybody 12 picks past their ADP or like 10 picks past their ADP in like the top like 12 rounds and uh, that guy's going on my team i don't care who he is uh so elijah mitchell's adp is pick 72 i got him at pick 93 that's insane that's like 20 picks of value how could i not do that how could i not and then that also opens me up to the uh, 49ers raiders game which is really fun all right this team actually is really fun what else we got in the chat Again, fellas, any questions you got for me, 
anything among those lines let me know if you want to pick my brain on redraft takes dynasty takes all that i'm down i'm down to be an open book for you guys uh this evening what do we got uh josh you said what do you think of this trade for me i get kyler but i gave up aaron Rodgers a 23 first and mcbride i think that's fine dude that's fine that's more than fine bro it's close but it's fine i've i've seen like if i had kyler i wouldn't sell him for that i would probably need like another first so i don't hate that at all i'm looking right now do i have any kc from the other side of that no It's so hard to take Marquez Valdez Scantling, dude. I just can't. I can't do it. I can't, bro. I can't. I I cannot look at Garrett Wilson and Tyler Lockett on the board and take Marquez Valdez Scantling at wide receiver. I just can't. I I, I can't do it. I'll i I'll swing on a KC I'll swing on KC guys later. I just can't. I, I can't do that. And the only reason I didn't take Lockett there is because I, I just I, I don't want to pair Lockett and Metcalf. I think that it's going to be very tough for both of those guys to succeed in that offense. He said, do you think stacking players is smart in redraft? 100%. I actually go into stacking uh, pretty heavily in that underdog strategy video I've been talking about. Uh, but 100%. Pretty much what it comes down to with stacking is, especially with like quarterback, wide receiver, you, you can kind of make the case that there's certain combinations that don't actually work. Uh, and Rotovis has a lot of cool tools for that. Also, let me know. Am I, I feel like I could zoom in a little bit more. Man, one of you guys should have, you guys should have yelled at me for being so zoomed out. There we go. I think that that is a little bit better. Uh, but what was I saying? You think stacking is smart in redraft? Yeah, 100%. I think especially like a quarterback and wide receiver. Like, for instance, last year, if you had Jamar Chase, taking Joe Burrow with him was really sharp because if Jamar Chase explodes, then so does Joe, Joe Burrow and vice versa. 99% um, of the time. So if you have two bets that are correlated like that, it's perfect. Because instead of, you know, flipping like two metaphorical coins on two different, different players, if their upsides are correlated, then you have to, to have like a sick team, you have to get less correct, which is better. I think, that's the, I think that's the best way. Uh, I think that's the best way for me to say it. So best ball, yes, straight redraft. At, yeah, I, I would say possibly. I, I think in redraft leagues, uh, I, I'm with you not as much, but I do think that like smaller stacks in redraft is probably fine. I'm looking at the options right now. I don't love them. Let me say that much. I do not love them at all. I take Christian Watson, dude. I don't want Christian Watson, man. Do I want James Cook? Literally not at all. Rashad Penny, damn. Rashad Penny is a great pick, dude. No soup for you is a dog. I think Christian Watson's interesting, and I think James Cook is very interesting. Is there cheaper ways to attack that Green Bay side? Christian Watson it is. Holy. A little bit of a buzzer beater there. I don't know what it is, man. I, I'm not super into Mel I'm, I'm not super into James Cook, dude. I'm really not. In redraft, I'm really not that into him. I don't know why. This doesn't really stand out to me. What else we got here? What else we got? You said you've done any rookies uh, in sophomore twos yet? Uh, I haven't. I know that those just dropped today. I haven't. I'll definitely, I'll definitely mess around with a couple, though. Ron, what is your thoughts? What is your thoughts on Zach Wilson in Dynasty? Is he Donald Mayfield or is he going to turn into something great? It's tough to say, man. I think he has a really wide range. I think that's, I think that's probably the uh, the easiest way to answer that question. Man, oh man, this is where things get tough. I have to I have to debate myself between. ADP value and completing a week 17 stack. Let's go ADP value. We'll go Chase Edmonds. I think that Chase Edmonds actually is perfect for this build as well. So that's fine. I think this is this is a fine setup right now. It does suck. Edmund, I love Edmonds, but it does suck because he, he takes you out of drafting uh, Sony Michelle, which I love late. 
But now I also think that the the Patriots have some really fun like late stacking options uh, on the other side of that Miami game where you can go like Mac Jones, Kendrick Bourne, even Tyquan Thornton if you want to get crazy. James White if you want to get crazy. What do we got? Uh, you said, is J.K. Dobbins ADP overvalued? In redraft, I'm assuming? In redraft, I would say probably not. Um, I think he goes in like the sixth round, which is probably plenty fine for him. Uh, it really just comes down to the ACL thing. Seems like a lot of the doctors are pretty spooked on it. So I'm not really sure... Uh, I'm not really sure what to think with Dobbins. If he's healthy, though, I'm very interested in his price because I'm going to talk about this in my running back rankings video, but when we're navigating the RB dead zone, which is where Dobbins is, right, in that, like, round three to six range where we want a lot of those wide receivers. Last year, if you took guys in that range, you were forfeiting upside swings on Jamar Chase, Devo Samuel, Cooper Cup. Um, so if you do want to take detours in the dead zone, it's for guys like Dobbins, ETN, Brees Hall. Young guys that we haven't, we haven't seen yet. The dead zone profiles that we want to be uh, avoiding are those old guys that just have projected touches like Ezekiel Elliott. Uh, who else is kind of in that range in this area, like round three to four? Yeah, I would say Zeke. I would say uh, Montgomery, Jacobs kinds of falls in there. The dead zone is definitely smaller this year. Though you can argue like Fournette um, – and James Conner in there too, but I would say that they're a little bit of a tier ahead of the the rest there. All right, so we're actually about to pick. What do we got on the board here? I have no choice but to take Ronald Jones here. I hate that I've taken all these running backs so early, or not so early, but like within this build very early uh, for a hero RB team, but it's very fun. So Ronald Jones, we got him like 11 picks past ADP. We got Edmonds like 12 picks past ADP. Elijah Mitchell, 20 picks past ADP. So I'll do that all day long. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is actually a really sweet team right now. I will say on this next pick, I, I, I'm kind of at a loss. I'm looking through. Like I almost feel like I'm going to be forced to take another running back. I don't want to be done taking running backs here though. I feel like that's a bad spot to get caught in. Like, ideally, my, like, 16th, 17th, or 18th round pick are, is a running back. But I don't want to take a quarterback or a tight end here. I think I think a lot of the luxury of going with, like, a Mark Andrews early or a Russell Wilson even early is that you can kind of wait on that quarterback. Man, oh, man. I don't want to take Tua. I don't want to take Tua, but, I mean, if you're going to give him to me, like, 14 picks past ADP... And I have Edmonds. Jeez, dude. I actually want nothing to do with him, though. Damn, dude. Darrell Henderson it is. Darrell Henderson it is. And I will say that for a Hero RB team, I absolutely love the running backs here. I really do. Um, sad part is that in a Hero RB build, you ideally, again, you want to take those running backs really late after the first one. The issue here is I'm pretty much done drafting running backs now, which means it's going to get really ugly at the other positions for me. But I'll be all right. What else we got in here? Ooh. You said it dropped yesterday. It's like 25 to 30% full already? Holy. What do you think DJ Moore's ceiling is this year? Is it much higher if the Panthers get Mayfield? Oh, yeah, it's way higher if the Panthers get Mayfield. If the, if the Panthers get Mayfield, I'm saying... I'm saying top five is in his range, dude. With Donald through like four weeks, he was like a top five guy, dude. DJ Moore is the guy that we thought he was. Um, without him, though, without him, though, it's tough. Without him, though, it's very tough. I would say like back end wide receiver one, which sucks because DJ Moore is super, super talented. He said in ESPN leagues, you can get Kelsey. In ESPN leagues, you can get Kelsey and Andrews in the second and third round. Would it be smart to take both of them? No. I wouldn't do like a, a bully tight end build like that. They're not, like you, you never want to put a tight end in your in your flex unless it's like tight end premium. Keith's in here. What's going on, brother? For anyone that doesn't know who Keith Brand is, that was my my youth basketball coach in eighth grade. Also one of my best friends' brothers. How are we doing, Keith? Gosh, what do you what are you dubbing me for? What did I just earn a W for, bro? Was it good with that?
Bro, Keith in this chat's gonna make me act up, boy. Don't make me put it on full screen. <laughs> what do I got? What do I got? All right, so I got. Th I'm up in three picks. Man. I hate and love what's on the board here. All right. I got an idea. What do we got? No soup for you. What do we got? Come on, brother. JD McKissick there? That's a little bit of a wild pick. All right, so I'll go Hamler. I'll stack up Russell Wilson, which I love. That's beautiful. We got a one five seven one going here. So what do you think of the team so far? I'll probably take a look at it once we're done. I don't want to get too far off track. What are you, DR, DRM? Yeah, I'll take a look at it in a little bit. You said, I tried bully tight end last year with Kelsey and Kittle because Kittle fell and it did not work out. Yeah, I would say in any league that's non-tight end premium, I really wouldn't even do it. I, I don't think you would, you have to, you would have to really, um, you'd have to really thread the needle. You'd have to really thread the needle and hit hit on two of them. You know, like two two that really pop. I don't know. I, I would just say, like in an ideal world, you never want to flex a tight end. Like even even if they're an elite tight end, they're still scoring less than a wide receiver or whatever. The, the biggest advantage of drafting an elite tight end is that you can have like wide receiver level production in your tight end spot. Not that you can, you know, double up on tight end and put one in the flex. So, I mean... I don't know. One would have to fall like hilariously far past his ADP for me to do it. And then even then, I'd maybe even just want to trade him away in that spot. Man. Am I really going to take Zach Wilson at QB2? Could go Matt Ryan, but I don't have I don't have any indie guys to really stack with him. So Matt Ryan's gone anyways. Sammy Watkins is kind of fun, but I, I don't know if stacking him with Christian Watson really does anything for me. Let's go Zach Wilson. No, I don't want Zach. Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go Wandale. I think Wandale is more than fine. I'm fine with Wandale there. Okay, so we need we need one quarterback, one tight end, one wide receiver. I know I got really thin at quarterback. Uh, quarterback and tight end but Russ is elite enough that I think that he can be fine and I think same thing with Mark Andrews uh next thing I need to do queue up Giants and Colts boy what else we got what else we got um we got Keith still in here gassing the boy up what's going on brother we got uh, Brock in here. What's going on, Brock? You said Matty Ice season QB one this year. My unbiased opinion. Yeah, I think that's in, I think that's in his range of outcomes. I'd say if he really hits a ceiling here, I'd say especially the rushing upside that Matt Ryan possesses. We got we got Huss in here, OG of the channel, the best editor I know, the man, the myth, the legend. Fun fact: Huss did edit the uh, the Pink Panther one where I was being an idiot and like I came out of a porta potty. But he did not edit the Indiana Jones one. Just a small, um, just a small, uh, just if anybody's got a Ron Stewart uh, channel trivia out there. All right, fellas, we got, what, like three more rounds left? Let me know. If anybody has any more questions, I'm down to answer whatever. I'm all your guys. We got, dude, 50 people in here, bro. You guys are crazy. On a Friday night. 50 people on a Friday night. Dude, Huss remembers the days when I used to grind like this. And streams would just be me pretty much FaceTime typing with people. Like two to three guys in the chat just gassing the fellas up. The dogs. The true dogs. The road warriors. What do we got? Mad Ice is about to turn back the clock. Trying to speak it into existence. We'll see. It's actually, dude, it's actually so, it's so upsetting that your boys didn't make a, uh, make a playoff run, dude. Like it's actually shocking the Colts to make the playoffs. I hate I hate to kind of uh I hate to kind of push that home for you, dude. But insane from them. Insane insane fumble of the bag. 
Man, oh man. I love Noah Fan here. Give me Noah Fan here all day. What? He went at pick 189. His ADP is 172. Give me that all day. I got another idea as well. Wow. I actually kind of love uh I actually kind of love that uh that screen name this guy has. I get money. What else we got? Hold on, let me zoom out a little bit. I think I screwed this up. Oh. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. I don't care. Super chat from Derek. Appreciate the ten dollars, brother. Fifty people, twenty five likes. Let's go, fellas. I appreciate that, man. Derek's an OG of the channel, the boy. I appreciate that big time. What are we at? 27 likes? Boom. Already at 25, boy. If I answer your question, if you're having fun, little Friday night vibes with the fellas, give the give the video a nice little like. Helps the boy out a ton. What do we got? Yeah, the Colts were allergic to finishing football games last year. Blew so many leads. It just sucks, dude, because they looked so good, man. What was the uh, the game that looked really good? Did they just beat they just beat the hell out of the? Uh, what am I thinking? They killed, uh, or not killed, but they did they beat the Patriots like in a very convincing way. Man, is this gonna be Carson Wentz? Is this gonna be Davis Mills? Do I already have Cleveland Washington type correlation? I do. I have Terry McLaurin. Okay, so we'll go Wentz there. That's actually that's actually dope. Okay, so we have we have three Denver players, which is perfect for our one quarterback. We have two Washington guys. We can go with another Washington guy late if we want. This is a sweet team. This is perfect. I think Wentz's ADP is probably too low. Uh, so Denver, I already took Hamler. Yeah, so we're fine on Denver players. Um, and then wa does Washington like have like a fun wide receiver four? I feel like no. Not Diami Brown. Should I take Diami Brown? <sighs> That's tough, dude. That is tough. I'm trying to see what kind of correlates here, but nothing really sticks out a ton besides just a lot of shitty options. Man, Diami Brown, can someone someone tell me a bedtime story where Diami Brown catches like a 50-yard touchdown in week 17? You said you own the Bills? Yeah, you guys beat the hell out of the Bills too? Wonder if the Dolphins outperformed the Pats this year. My guess would be my guess would be unlikely. I I'm I Here's the thing, dude. Don't come to me for real football takes. I really, real football takes. I suck at because I really only know the position players. You, I, I don't know the O lines. I don't know uh, a ton of defense. But I don't know. I'm not. I'm not buying Miami's going to be good this year in real life. I'm just not. I also, uh, dude. I have some concerns about Mike McDaniel as well. I, I'm very excited that he could be like this young, uh, like analytics-driven head coach. But he has some quotes where he's it doesn't really seem like he's embracing analytics all that much and he's just kind of trying to run the ball we got the ravens game against the colts was crazy signature lamar game oh yeah dude was that was it an overtime game but i do remember it was like a monday night football game right and lamar and uh, mark andrews had a crazy game where it was like three touchdowns at like the end of the fourth quarter for him or something crazy that was insane oh dude you know what the perfect pick here is pick here is we'll we'll bring back our justin jefferson pick from earlier Maybe we won't. Because I do think that Romeo Dubs is actually pretty fun. So it could be Romeo Dubs across from from J. Jeff. All right, it's going to have to be Romeo Dubs. I think that's a fun pick. Why not? I think this is a solid squad. What do y'all think? Legit shanked a 40-yard field goal. That would have been a walk-off. Jeez. Lamar went crazy that night, though. Um, all right, so let's maybe we'll take a look at some teams real quick. We'll take a look at some teams. I know you guys want me to take a look at a couple teams, but a little bit of rapid fire. Because um, I am trying to low-key dip, hang out with my dog, chill out Friday night. But I do, I do want to run through this team real quick because I am very happy with it. All right, so we completed the team. We'll go here. 
This is what the team looked like. Oh, yeah, I said expected this to get wiped because some guy drafted like an asshole. Um, but yeah, we had Russ, Wentz. So it's a night. This is just a classic two five nine two, but it's kind of like Swift last year. Javante is very similar to Swift, where you can get him in the third round and you can build around him as a hero RB after going like wide receiver, wide receiver, wide receiver, tight end in the, in the first two rounds. Um, but J. Jeff, Mark Andrews, that's really fun. Two five nine two build. Everything's pretty much correlated. We have Russ, Javante, Hamler. We have, uh, and even on the other side of that, we have a KC stack with uh, Ronald Jones, or just a KC bring back. And we have Washington to McLaurin. Uh, do we have any Cleveland? I don't think so, which kind of sucks. I would have liked to have a, a Cleveland piece, but I think that's fine. Maybe I could have taken like a Donovan Peoples-Jones or something, but it's whatever. And then we have Justin Jefferson across from Dubes. Any other stacks that I'm kind of missing on? But yeah, I like 2592. Who were the, uh, the other teams? I know DRM wanted me to look at his team, right? So you waited on quarterback. You went 3582. I guess this is kind of a hero running back team. Yeah, I would call it a hero running back team. You have Fields. We have a naked Fields. We have a naked Tua. And you you have a you have a stacked Tannehill. Okay. It's not bad. Um three five eight two hero RB build. I think it's probably solid. I think that's probably fine. I think three quarterbacks is the move there. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. I think I probably I don't know, I'm trying to think. Cause something does look slightly off here. Or I almost think your wide receivers could look better. Amari Cooper at that at that value was sick though. But yeah, I would say solid team. I'd say solid team. Nothing stands out too 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 bad. Would love to see Wentz have a four hundred uh, yard game in week fourteen or week seventeen. Jeez, dude, we got fifty one people in here, dude. As I'm winding things down, you guys are gonna give me fifty viewers in here. But alright, fellas. I appreciate you guys coming out here. I wish I could stick around for a little bit more, but it is a Friday night. It's like 945. I uh, really wasn't even expecting to get like more than like 30 viewers tonight, but you guys are absolute savages um, for these streams. So I, I really do appreciate it, man. Again, I said I, I got to stop saying this because it is corny, dude, but it is pretty hum uh, humbling when you guys come out here and support the boy just because, like I said, I have I know what it's like to live stream and only have like three people in the chat. And it's not fun, man. So really appreciate you guys coming out here, watching the boy run up a draft, uh, hanging out with the boy. Uh, we should have, I, I'm really excited for the next few videos we have coming up. I have a underdog strategy video where I lay out everything from structure to stacking, everything that's in my toolbox when it comes to underdog drafting. So if any of you guys out there are ripping up underdog drafts, again, promo code Ron, when you deposit, they will match your deposit up to $100. Also shout out to Huss who popped in here. Huss, um, actually he was actually the one who reached out to underdog and secured the promo code for me back when i was like pretty much like begging for them to give me a promo code before we had a thousand subscribers last year uh what else and then we're going to have uh running back rankings like my running back top 24 which is going to be like maybe even an hour long video because i have notes on every single uh one of my top 24 running backs it's taking me forever to outline right now that's why we stream today instead of tomorrow because i had to push that video off to tomorrow um, but we're going to do top 24 running backs top 24 wide receivers in an underdog strategy video saturday sunday monday boom as always.